as the government prepares to bid farewell to the late marathoner Kevin Kiptum in a ceremony befitting a hero, recent developments shed light on the circumstances surrounding his tragic accident. The accident, which occurred on Sunday, February 11, claimed the lives of both Kiptum and his coach, leaving one surviving passenger, a woman who sustained injuries in the ordeal. The injured female passenger received prompt medical attention and was treated at the hospital on Monday, February 12, for soft tissue injuries. Following her recovery, she was discharged from the Moi Teaching and Referral Hospital on Wednesday, February 14. Subsequently, she provided a statement to the Directorate of Criminal Investigations DCI, in Itten, contributing crucial information to the ongoing investigation. Officials from the DCI provided an update to the media on Thursday, February 15, indicating progress in the case. We were able to record statements from Sharon Cosgay yesterday, they announced. The investigation is still underway, and once completed, we will disclose our findings to the public. According to Cosgay's statement, she witnessed the vehicle veering off the road and attempted to alert Gipton. Regrettably, her efforts were in vain as the accident ensued. A Seneth Cherito, the widow of the late marathoner, disclosed that Gipton had complained of a headache prior to the accident, speculating that he may have taken medication for it. Cheruto recounted their final moments together, recalling their conversation on Saturday, February 11th, at 4 a.m., as Kipton departed for training at the Fluorspa camp. Throughout the weekend, they maintained communication, with Kipton expressing exhaustion from training and disappointment over cancelling their Sunday plans due to his headache.